An important stop on the road to light rail in Virginia Beach. City leaders are now facing a deadline to show commitment towards extending the tide from Norfolk. This week, the state threatened to pull $155 million. Transportation officials told the city to sign or risk losing the money. Ten of your side's Liz Palka went to an open house tonight. So, Liz, what are residents saying? Nicole, most people I spoke to here at the open house told me they were in favor of light rail and the city moving forward with an agreement with the state. Well, I also spoke with plenty of people who are passionately against it. I'd love to be able to pick up the tide and get into Norfolk from here. Hampton Roads Transit holds a light rail open house in town center. Coincidentally, the same day the Commonwealth Transportation Board sent this resolution to the city of Virginia Beach, calling for the city to agree to a memorandum of understanding or MOU and submit an application to buy light rail cars all by April 30th. Virginia Beach City Manager Dave Hansen. Committing to the purchase of the light rail vehicles at 50-50 and uh, following through on uh, the MOU just seems logical for our city council to consider. Most residents at the open house seem to be tracking the latest conversation between the transportation board and city leaders, noting the board and transportation secretary, Aubrey Lane, say state funding will be on the line without the MOU. And I can understand the city's perspective in uh, not wanting to commit before they know how much it's going to cost, but I hope they can do that quickly because I'd be really sad to see the money go somewhere else. I think that they should use the um, $155 million that the government has given them or, because if they don't, then they're going to have to stand in line and wait their turn again. To Resident Dane Bly calls the idea of extending the tide from Norfolk to Virginia Beach a financial time bomb. Of course, locally, I'd like for us to, to spend that $155 million on road projects that are badly needed. We have a backlog right now anyway. Many city leaders still pushing forward with the project. Some suggesting there could be a light rail referendum on the November ballot, seeking more input from residents. Hansen saying that's already been done. This is a decision that the council will take on themselves. Councilman John Moss told me tonight at the open house that he understands Councilman Bobby Dyer will be proposing a referendum in the next month. The mayor told me even if there is a referendum, that will not have an impact on state funding, especially with that MOU. And I understand that document will be before council in the next 30 days. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.